Hello, I'm Wayne Loeb, and I recommend that you should buy Intel. I've arrived at this conclusion by using the Holt valuation methodology informed by my background in semiconductors. My analysis of Intel making use of the Holt methodology consists of five factors, CFROI, asset growth, sales growth, operating margins, and historical Holt valuation. Intel's CFROI chart shows that they were able to consistently generate an economic return in excess of their cost of capital. This is excellent long-run performance and shows that the company is well run. Next, looking at asset growth, we can make a few interesting observations. As long as the CFROI is above the cost of capital, a well-managed company should be expected to grow its assets. We observed that in the 2000s, Intel had a much slower asset growth rate than in the previous decade. This makes sense since the CFROI exceeded the cost of capital by a smaller margin. Also, a cyclical pattern is observed in the asset growth rate. As semiconductor processes scale with Moore's Law, periodic capital investments in new foundries are required, and this can account for some of the cyclicality in the rate of asset growth. Sales growth has not been steady, but this is not necessarily the fault of Intel's management, as computer sales were affected by Microsoft and more recently Apple product cycles, as well as the macroeconomic environment. Holt operating margins have been generally stable. Moving on to historical valuation, we see that in early 2010, the market price started trailing the Holt warranted price. The Holt valuation method is an objective measurement, and unlike the market price, it is not affected by predictions of the future market and technological trends. Mobile computers making use of ARM rather than Intel microprocessors are gaining in popularity and have enough computational power for most tasks. This trend was kicked off by the release of the iPad in early 2010. Also, the trend towards cloud computing will impact Intel's microprocessor business as it obviates the need for high-speed processors and consumer products by relying on network processors. While these trends will impact Intel, it is my opinion that the market has overreacted. This slide shows what the future CFROI would be to warrant the current stock price. This rapid decline is unrealistic for this well-run technological leader. Based on the CFROI, sensible asset growth, stable operating margins, and market overreactions to technological trends, I think that Intel is currently undervalued and warrants a buy rating.